Okay, so this video is about inductive and deductive reasoning. So two different kinds of reasoning and, and logical thinking. Okay, so we're going to talk about each kind, but first let's look at this little cartoon here. So what do we have? Uh, it says inductive versus deductive reasoning. So inductive reasoning is when uh, someone unfriends you on Facebook, but you know it because his girlfriend's jealous, and it really means he wants to hook up, or is that deductive reasoning? I thought that was kind of a funny little... Little cartoon this person thinking about it based on Facebook. Anyways, let's look at deductive reasoning first of all. Well, deductive reasoning is the uh, the idea of reaching a conclusion or a decision based on known facts. So let's take a look at a funny little ex uh, example of that that I found. So the baboon likes bananas. Or sorry, all baboons like bananas. Kind of interesting. And then Lucy is a baboon. So Lucy likes bananas. And you guys uh, actually do a lot of this kind of reasoning in your daily lives, whether you know it or not, um, or whether you think about it or not. It's, it's sort of like, um, oh, you know, Johnny uh, likes so-and-so, and then, you know, but he wasn't doing this, so maybe he doesn't really like her, that kind of stuff. You know, you kind of know, like, known facts about the way things are supposed to be, and then you sort of make decisions based on what you see. It's kind of like that. So we know that we know that uh, baboons like bananas, and we know that Lucy's a baboon, so we would assume that she would like bananas. It's that, it's that kind of reasoning. Okay, so uh, we kind of say that uh, the baboon liking bananas, that's fact one, and the second fact would be that Lucy is a baboon. So then we have, that leads us to this conclusion. Okay, so that's called deductive reasoning. Let's look at a more geometric type of example of that. Another example, here we go. So here we have uh, our linear pair, and we're going to talk about it here real quick. Okay, fact one. Uh, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees, and angles one and two are supplementary. So then fact three, we know that uh, the measure of angle one is 100 degrees. The reason we know that is because I'm telling you, by the way, uh, it's not written anywhere it doesn't we didn't measure it so i'm just telling you that it is and then so our conclusion is that the measure of angle two is 80 degrees okay because we know uh fact one that supplementary angles add up to 180 and so if one and two are supplementary and one is 100 then uh let me get my pen that that means that um you know uh whoopsie yeah, anyways well we can fill it in a second um that just means that, uh, I'll just show you like what I did there. That just means if we do 180, you know, minus 100, that's how I got the 80. I just wanted to show you that. And that's 80 degrees. So that's where, the, that's where that came from. So we just, you know, we solve problems like this, and it's called deductive reasoning. So go ahead and see if you can fill in the blank here from your notes of what deductive reasoning is. Okay, pause the video and do stuff. So. Okay, hopefully you paused it. Uh, I'm going to fill it in here. And, you know, I like my orange color here. Okay, so deductive reasoning is reaching a conclusion based on known facts. Known facts, and the important about thing about this is the is the known facts. So, like a fact is that supplementary angles add up to 180. Fact is that the baboons like bananas. That kind of thing. Okay, let's look at inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is when we reach a conclusion based on a pattern. So, uh, for example, let's say that we have um, let's go back to my arrow. Let's say that we have Isaac Newton. And Isaac Newton had an apple fall out of a tree, and it hit him in the head. And then, suppose it happens again, and again, and again. So every time the apple falls out of the tree, it hits him in the head. Uh, he's, uh, that's our pattern, you see. So, so we know that, okay, we drop an apple, hits the guy in the head, drop an apple, hits the guy in the head, apple falls, hits the guy in the head, was our conclusion. He reaches the conclusion, oh, that must be gravity, right? So this is an idea of inductive 
reasoning where we look and we find a, this pattern, say, of an apple falling on your head, or we'll look at a couple more patterns in a little bit of, of some examples, and then and then reaching a conclusion of like, oh, well, every time you know, something is let loose, it falls to the ground. So let's call that gravity. That's like inductive reasoning. Okay, so uh, you can practice that at home. You can take a pencil and drop it and pencil and drop it and realize, oh, every time I let go of my pencil, it falls to the floor. Inductive reasoning is what that is. Okay. So uh, here's another example of some inductive reasoning. So here we have a little pattern. And take a look at that pattern. See if you can figure out what the, just for fun, what the uh, last number is. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The last number is probably going to be, I'm sure you guessed it, 12. Right, so that's inductive reasoning. I'm looking at this pattern and thinking, oh, I wonder what the next thing might be. It's 12. That's using inductive reasoning. Okay, here's another one. This is more of a visual pattern. So, pattern one, we got a little block. Pattern two, we got a block, but we added these two blocks here. And then pattern three, we got uh, these two blocks, and then we added these ones. And then, you know, on this pattern, we, oh boy, we got that. And then we, you know, that's four. And then, do to do, do. So I wonder what five is going to look like. Well, let's have a look. There's five. How about that? That's inductive reasoning, more of in a in a pattern based thing, more of a visual pattern like that. So, kind of taking a look at how that how that works. Okay. And then I think I got one more in here. Oh yeah. Uh, so inductive reasoning is what? Go ahead and fill in the blank. Pause the video. Hopefully you pause it. I'm going to fill in the blank for you. So inductive reasoning is reaching a conclusion conclusion based on a pattern. The T, that's two T's, P, T, T, E, R, N, pattern. Okay, so inductive reasoning is reaching a conclusion based on a pattern. And deductive is reaching a conclusion based on known facts. Okay, that's the end of the video.